Okay, everyone wants to know if you paint your solo stove black, will it radiate more? Well, so do we. We've painted a couple of our stoves black already, but we've never really done any tests, so that's what we're gonna do today. First, we're gonna sandblast the entire surface to make it nice and clean. Then we're gonna paint it, but we're only gonna paint it half. And then that way, when we burn a fire later, we're going to hit it with an IR thermometer and compare the two sides, the painted side versus the not. So let's dig into it. Okay, I have all my safety gear on. We're gonna use this siphon sand blaster connected up to our air compressor. So you can see I'm covered in sand here. That's why I put my sweater on. I may have missed a couple of spots because I can't see anything while wearing this many layers of gear, but now that we can, um, we're gonna clean this off with acetone to get all the sand bits off. And then we're gonna paint it with this Rust-Oleum high heat exhaust paint. So that should stick really well. All right, if you read the instructions, you're supposed to heat it up a couple of times to cure it, but we're just gonna build a fire in it after we paint it. So, uh, because this is a spray can, we'll just touch up whatever spots chip off. This is the same paint that we used on all the other solo stoves that we've painted and it's held up really well. light out so we could take a look at our work here there's a couple of light spots so we're just gonna go ahead and give it a second coat anyway So this side has been sandblasted, cleaned with acetone, and painted with that high temperature exhaust paint. And we have our original stove here that's been used a couple of times, so it's not perfectly clean, but it'll give us a good test on which side radiates better. So we have the fire going now. It's just getting started, so it won't be super hot yet, but we're gonna do a test side to side. I'm gonna try and be even about four inches in on each side, and roughly the same height. 117, 89. So that's a pretty big difference between the two sides already. Now that we have our initial data point and we've seen that the black side is hotter, we're gonna get the fire going really well and we're gonna try and make it as even as possible to see if there's any difference in the actual burning from the dark side to the regular side. All right, it's time to load up the stove. I'm trying to be as even as possible so we get a good test. So I'm choosing roughly the same dimensional wood and I'm putting them roughly in the same spot. do a couple more. Okay, we're gonna let this burn. 
turn for a couple of minutes and see if we notice anything different between the two sides. So I loaded the wood the best I could. It's kind of hard to see here, but the black side actually is burning a lot better, at least to start. The original side looks like it's catching up, but it's just taking a little bit longer from what it seems right now. Okay, it's time for another temperature check. We are at 123 on the silver side. And 283 on the black side. So initial thoughts are definitely that painting your stove black is a good idea if you want a lot of radiant heat. 